Hello and welcome. You know who it is. It's your boy. Now, we're going to have a little look at something, right? And if you've watched some of my Dust 2 demo reviews before, you'll know that I do not like this anyway, right? You already know. But let's just have a, let's just have a look at how this round plays out, okay? So this is a, a pretty standard round, right? You get some mid-peak from the AWPA. Pretty standard. You got somebody holding some B control. It's a it's a passive default, right? They're obviously very much like everyone stay safe while Woxic looks for the picks. Okay. And they're gonna throw some some util out, whatever. Um, I can't. I don't know if that was a CT smoke. Actually, it might have been. It, it might very well have been a CT smoke. But whatever. That's not important, right? So what you see is a super passive default from Eternal Fire, right? They don't really get any meaningful map control, right? They, I don't know why they're not contesting mid at all, but they're not. And then look at what they're going to do. They fall all the way back into a full long push. Now, if you have watched any of my demos, if you have watched any of my demo reviews before, like I said, you know I don't particularly like this play unless your name is Navi. And just look at why, okay? So first things first, they gave no indications they were anywhere on the map, right? The only thing that that Spirit have heard is the orc firing through middle, right? And look, look at the minimap right now, okay? Let me bring it up. Look at the minimap. Spirit already know it's not a B play, right? You're doing this so early in the round that Spirit have all the time in the world to get the info in B tunnels, to get the info in mid. Spirit already at one minute know that your whole team is pretty much at long. All right, I, I don't understand why teams think this is a good idea. I really, really don't understand why teams think that this is something that they can do. Maybe because they've seen the best team in the world do it, and so they think, and so they think, yeah, that it must be a good play. No, it violates all of the basic principles of Counter Strike in a lot of ways, right? Like, uh, and just look, this is so, this is so easy for Team Spirit, man. This is so easy. It's a firing range on long. They've already stacked three on the site. They've got a numbers advantage. Like, look at this. Eternal Fire are just falling apart. They have no hope whatsoever in this round. Why you wouldn't, for example, have somebody sat top mid, right? Why, why not have four long? Because it doesn't require any extra effort or map control. Or you do, just leave somebody here. And he might have caught Siren. And then suddenly, it's like a, a, a 2v2. The two here is still alive. Woxic's alive. Whoever's top mid is alive. And suddenly, there is a round to be made out of this. Sticking all five on long is, is so one-dimensional and so reliant on being some of the best... Basically, just out-aiming your team, right? And okay, on some level, I can maybe understand Eternal Fire doing this because I think they are a team that basically batters tier twos by being better aimers right they are they're a pretty high skilled team for a tier two it, on a tier one level this team is nothing special Zantara's is is still good a good level for tier one woxic at his best is a good level for tier one but i don't know if he's at his best at the moment because he's a i don't know if his form is the best anyway but b he's calling so you expect his stats to take a hit but I just, I hate this. I even think if this works for you, I think you have to turn around and realize, like, look, part of the reason that this is probably working is because we're outskilling our opponents or our opponents are not reacting to this properly. I absolutely despise this five long play. Teams, please, please, please stop doing it. We're just going to play it out just so you can see that Woxic does not win this 1v3. Okay, it's not like, oh, yeah, no, they got him into a, into a 1v3, which he wins. No, nope. get ready. Oh, wow. Imagine if somebody had been holding the flank. Imagine. Imagine what a world we'd be living in. All right. Stop it. Stop. Stop this five-man long play. All right. I don't even want to see it once on a T-half. I don't even want to see it once. I don't even want to see it as like, oh, we'll mix things up. And especially, especially if you are going to do this long thing, leave one top mid or... This is a late round play. You take map control, right? In meaningful map control in middle and B tunnels, and then you fall back into the five man long play. That is the only time I may ever, unless you're Navi, okay? In which case, yeah, Navi have shown that they can make it work reliably. That's the only time I ever want to see this. Stop doing it. It's bad. Stop.